Thank you for taking your valuable time to allow us to introduce you to one of the most significant figures in the history of modern medicine, Dr. Jerome Lejeune. Jerome Lejeune was born in France in 1926. After he completed medical school in Paris, he joined a practice where he was assigned to care for patients with Down syndrome. Always wanting to be a research physician, in working with these patients, he began to notice similarities that led him to believe that Down syndrome might have a genetic cause. For example, he observed common characteristics like the palmar crease in the hands of his patients with Down syndrome, a single crease running across their palm rather than typical three. He also observed that monozygotic twins both had Down syndrome, but twins born of two different eggs, dizygotic twins, didn't. He proved his hypothesis in 1958 when he first counted 47 chromosomes in the cells of a patient with Down syndrome. His discovery was revolutionary. No longer would people believe that Down syndrome, or trisomy 21, as he then called it, was the result of a curse, a sexually transmitted disease, or would parents be blamed for impure living. In showing that Down syndrome is caused by an extra copy of the 21st chromosome, he had removed the stigma long associated with this genetic condition and had opened the path to inclusion and acceptance. Jerome Lejeune made many other discoveries, too. In 1964, he discovered that Cretu Schott syndrome was caused by a missing segment of chromosome 5. He also described 18Q-syndrome in 1966, the DR phenotype in 1968, and he identified trisomies on two other chromosomes, on chromosome 9 in 1970 and chromosome 8 in 1971. All this while, students and other researchers were flocking to his lab to learn from him as he continued his research on Down syndrome and also on other genetic intellectual disabilities. He was certain that medical research would one day find a way to treat or maybe even to cure them. Jerome Lejeune received numerous awards and accolades for his work, and he came to be considered the father of modern genetics because his discovery was the beginning of a revolution in medicine. To understand the significance of this title a bit better, look back to another father in science, Anton von Leeuwenhoek, the father of microbiology. Von Leeuwenhoek was the first to observe in his microscope single-cell organisms like bacteria and sperm cells. Just as von Leeuwenhoek's discovery of bacteria allowed doctors to understand its role in causing disease, Jerome Lejeune's discovery allowed doctors for the first time to understand that some disabilities and diseases might have an identifiable genetic origin. Today, methods of chromosome analysis and prenatal diagnosis are becoming increasingly sophisticated. Some manufacturers of tests claim that all these genetic intellectual disabilities listed here can be identified with a simple test of a mother's blood 10 weeks into her pregnancy. Researchers across all medical specialties are now focused on understanding the genetic cause of disease and looking for genetic therapies to treat or to cure them. Dr. Jerome Lejeune's 1958 discovery led to international recognition and an incredible career. His discovery of the genetic cause of Down syndrome gained for him the recognition of President John F. Kennedy, who awarded him the first Kennedy Prize in 1962. He received many other awards as well, including the highest award a geneticist could receive, the William Allen Memorial Award from the American Society of Human Genetics in 1969. He became a close personal friend of John Paul II, who established the Pontifical Academy for Life in 1994 and appointed Jerome Lejeune as its first president. He was a brilliant man and an eloquent speaker who was fluent in English and often called upon to share his expertise at events across the globe, often right here in America. But at heart, Jerome Lejeune was a medical doctor. He was a physician. He had over 10,000 patients during the course of his career who came to see him from all over the world, and it's said that he consulted on some 30,000 individual cases of genetic intellectual disability. Jerome Lejeune is the father of modern genetics, but first and foremost, he was a loving husband and the father of five children. He was also a special father figure to his patients. Parents who brought their children to Dr. Lejeune would always find a loving and compassionate man who showed respect and kindness, both to the parent and to their child. One mother reported that after she had given birth to her child, she felt the future was incredibly dark. 
When she brought her son to see Dr. Lejeune, he greeted them both with a smile. He took the child in his arms and asked his name, and then he showed them the greatest possible respect. She said, every simple gesture was like a revelation. It wasn't a patient this doctor was examining. It was our child. Dr. Lejeune died on Easter Sunday in 1994, but always having his patients in mind, he was so concerned that they would be left with no one to care for them. His family decided then to create a foundation to continue his work of research, care, and advocacy on behalf of those with genetic intellectual disabilities. And the Jerome Lejeune Foundation was officially launched in 1996 as a public charity in France with its three pillars of activity finding their inspiration in the legacy of this great man. To learn more about the mission of the Jerome Lejeune Foundation, please watch part two of this presentation. We also have many resources at our website that you can investigate further, or feel free to call us at 267-403-2910. We're happy to speak with you anytime.